Okay, here we are still in Puerto Rico. Um, seeing this kind of nice, uh, almost sick, cyclic or, well, more of a sine wave type motion going through where some turns are really good for one thing and some for another. This was a turn where there weren't a lot of sales, not a lot of building, no building went on as we see, no production. No goods were delivered. There was a s set of sales where people made some bucks. So I was kind of lying about that. Um, but yeah, when we go around, we see mainly building up plantations. Uh, people grabbing money with the prospector. Because it had collected up enough money to be worth it. To be more than they could make through other means. Um, more colonists, not all the players even needed them. The guy who took it was one of the few people who needed them. Uh, we've got excess people kicking around in a couple of these. And uh, that's, you know, about it. Nobody made the big jumps. There was no, oh, I could buy a big city, a big building this time. No, it was just sort of a turn going by like any other but, you know, it felt almost like a beginning turn uh, in terms of that. We are seeing some of the people's uh, land is filling up pretty heavily. Not so much their cities. Their cities, they still have a decent amount of space. There's a couple of people who have these bonuses to get additional, uh, additional settlement uh, uh, plantations, for example. Um, oh, speaking of which, I just forget to get rid of these. Well, it looks like the plantation deck is also running out. I'm not sure what happens when it runs out. I don't I think they're just gone. But uh, you know, so you won't be able to fill up your entire area, or you'll be filling some of it up with quarries. Uh, quarries are kind of cool if you got nothing else to put in there. I've been staying away from them. Because all they really produce is a buck off on uh, on building, but eh, you know if that's all, all, all you can get, I don't know how much it's worth taking the settlement card to get a quarry. But if you already have uh, the construction hall, it might be worth it. Okay. Okay, and we went around the horn again. Um. No, oh, no, I didn't. Hold on, I forgot him. Well, I'll tell you what I've done so far, and then we'll play his turn in with that. All right, so the first guy did a builder, and we're seeing the last of the coffee uh, uh, roasteries going. Nothing huge here. Uh, basically grabbing the production, because for one thing, I wasn't sure what happened here. When these run out, you reshuffle the deck. Well, I reshuffled the deck, but they're going to run out again, and there's no deck to reshuffle. So... There are very few plantations left in the game. Uh, getting your production aligned with what you own has become important. So people are grabbing those up, plus they didn't have maybe a lot of money at this point. This guy picked up the office. Uh, why? Well, it's a slight advantage. And actually, he didn't get to take his advantage. Which comes from when this guy did the traitor. I didn't think he got it because I forgot about the roll on that. So I'm going to sell this uh, for two bucks. Money's still pretty important and he has none, so I want to give him some more. Uh, okay, so he did the mayor to pull out colonists. He's still short on them, but some of these don't really do anything. The tobacco, the extra indigo, he's just got them. Some of them because of this plus one plantation from supply, he's drawing plantations at random. Uh, that's how you kind of fill those out. This guy has the same advantage and the same effect, except he's full. Nothing you can do about that then. And uh, in the case of the tobacco, well, if he doesn't get the tobacco factory or storage, he's not going to get anywhere with that. It's just going to be a useless space. The indigo is definitely a useless space. Uh, go over to this guy. He picked up one of the coffee roasters. Now, he played the, the trader largely because he didn't make a lot of money off of it. He made two, three, and the next player sold uh, 
tobacco for five. Kind of hard to give somebody else so much of a bonus. But the goods delivery did him nothing except giving him the buck. Prospectors give him a buck. At least here he's filling this up and making it hard for the next person who chooses it to actually choose it. Or maybe giving a bonus to the next person who chooses it because they can slip something in. The fact that this guy had the office allowed him to grab a couple bucks as well off of it. Like I said, money's important. Now we got one last guy with a few options. And he's going... He's going with production, I guess. Because he gets an extra good that way, maybe. And he's got a lot of different goods. And he's got the factory, which will give him some money. So, yeah, he's definitely going with production. Uh, we can do his, but I'm not going to do everyone's. I put these on here because he's going to get a bonus. And I want to make sure everybody else gets their chance to get what they're getting. He's got three tobacco, yes. That cleans that out. That won't be a bonus. He's got an indigo. He does not get the sugar because he doesn't have the corresponding build card. So he produced three different types of goods. One, two, three. He gets two bucks for that. That's kind of a cool choice. And now he's going to get an extra good in a moment. I'll go through everyone else. So the next turn opens up and the player picks up a uh, the captain card. And there weren't a lot of spaces left on the boats. Now two of them got emptied out. Tobacco one did not because the guy who used it, who who had the uh, wharf, sent his tobacco via the wharf uh, with his private ship. A lot of points came out, but some people got really hosed. For example, trying to look who somebody didn't have a warehouse. Well, this guy doesn't have one. I guess that's it. Uh, Somebody I thought lost coffee. Looks like that's not the case. Um, I guess not. But some goods were definitely discarded because of lack of storage space, which is kind of a painful factor. And it's cool because you can play these and really bone some people by uh, your choices that you make in, in your turn. Uh, Chances are, I, you see, I don't know how people play this in reality, but I know how I play games like this. I'm usually not very aware of how much I'm screwing someone else over in most of these. I'm not really paying a lot of attention to their position. And I would guess that's probably the case with most, uh, most novice players of a game like this. I know with 18xx I'm a little more aware, but I'm still not terribly aware, and I, I think I'm pretty good at that actually, uh, at least 30. Uh, <laughs> the only thing I'm usually aware of is the damn trains. Maybe stock. I, I, I want to know how many stocks are out there before some, but in this, I don't think I'd be able to keep track of. I might look at the guy next to me and say, ah, oh, you're screwed, man, if I do this and then do it. Or I might look at somebody I think is winning. And, and aim at them that way. Ooh, okay. Okay, and another turn down. Throw some money on things. Uh, so we again see people trying to get their own advantage off of things. So, for example, the Captain Goods delivery. He managed, uh, we discussed that already. The next one did Trader and ended up clearing this out, being the only person who could sell. Then the builder, and we saw some buildings here, uh, he grabbed the last tobacco because he wants to get more tobacco production on his own property. Uh, he built the first of the big victory point cards. This one looks very valuable to him because he's planning on building more purple cards. Uh, wow. Hmm. Those may not be what I think they are. He may want City Hall instead. Uh, instead of the Guild Hall. Let me see. Additional for each small production building. 
an additional two for large indigo sugar milk tobacco storage hmm yeah he wanted I'll let him cheat here he wanted the town hall or the city hall instead that's not a huge difference in victory uh, that's not a huge bonus in victory points I thought it was better, but I'm gonna still stick them with a, a victory point city. One thing that does is it helps end the game quicker because once all of one person's city is filled, the game ends. This guy built the construction hall. Big deal. It's a victory point. That's really the only point, the only reason he spent on it. Uh, same, same over here. Although he can at least get some quarries, which can reduce his building cost. Uh, and then the very cool one. He built a factory, and he had the advantage of getting a colonist in it right away, and right away, that ended up being worthwhile because somebody did production. Huge pile of stuff going first on production. Once the game gets deep, becomes a real advantage. These guys have to learn not to let him keep taking the first shot at production. You look at your cards, you say, ah, man, I gotta arrange my production better. Well, you don't get a chance. If somebody else is already arranged, they're gonna keep slapping it down and grabbing all this stuff. Now, if other people are careful, maybe they can use these cards in a way. Oops. Uh, builder three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven dudes to the builder. Ah, uh, but anyway. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of cheating, because actually the rules say if you miss this step, just put the five on there, but I'm playing solo. Give me give me a break here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not like everybody's got a chance to, to think. Uh, there's only one of me, and I'm doing five thinkings. Okay, so jumping back to this. the uh, This guy has been running away because he's been set up for production every turn and other people don't want to call it out and then they don't get all their production. Now this guy got a decent amount as well as he had the factory so he pulled some cash. That's the other thing. This guy's got the, a factory so he's getting cash every time he does it in addition to what he's playing. Nice combination uh, being in that position. Alright, looks like we're done. I put out the, cat, the money and We'll just put these all back. Move the player order. And I'll send this up to you because, you know, that's about long enough. Game's got to be winding down pretty soon, I would say. Uh, it still looks like there's going to be a couple more turns just to fill something out. It's not going to go from these, I don't think. I think it's going to go because this guy fills everything out. What is the other option? There's another one. There's three ways this ends, and I don't know what all three of them are. Uh, ah, if there aren't colonists, well, that looks unlikely. There's still a decent number of them left. Okay, up it goes.